obviously the curing process is going to make your weed get better and better. But when do you find that those sort of like diminishing returns on the bud getting better from curing stops? Yeah, uh, see, that depends very heavily on what you're using and the technique that you're using to cure them. Um, it, it, you know, if you're not, it, they, it, they have to be sealed. You know, you have to you yeah. have to check your jars to make sure that they're at the right humidity. You know, yeah, somewhere around that sixty humidity squares in that. Ideally, yeah, ideally, um, little digital thermometers are a good way to do it as well. Um, it, it, anything that's going to give you an upper hand is a great idea, and keep them in a sealed tight. Uh, dark, cool location, and you can st store weed indefinitely. The weed I showed you, just a little exclusive, don't tell anyone, Drew, uh, is probably dried out. It, it, it's 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 not probably, it is. It's totally dried out. Because <laughs> I, I've, I, I, like, these jars that are behind me, I open them up and I forget about them. Like I just leave them up there and then I like cut, come grab out of it, grind it up, and it sits there forever. That butt I showed you, if I squished it, it would just go... <laughs> One of them ones where if you want to roll a joint, you literally just put it in the grinder and just go, yeah. one, and then yeah. that's it. And then you've got to tap it out because otherwise it would be like too fine. Like, Yeah, that's that's it. Like, that's it. So it's like you can store weed indefinitely. But again, my process has gotten lazier as I've gotten, you know, farther in, uh, in, in a lot of kit, like it, particularly when it just comes to my own supply. You know, uh, I'm storing everything at a, at a decent uh, temperature and humidity. But when it comes to my own supply, I don't mind dry weed, to be honest with you. Fresh dry weed, not 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 just fried weed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And there's a difference. There's a there is a difference. There is a difference. But Last yeah. Thing. yeah, it's good. It, it's good weed. But uh, yeah, you, you have to keep an eye on it, though. That's key. That's key. When you're storing that long, humidity levels can change. Temperature can change. And you got to make sure that you're just... Keeping a good eye on it because there's nothing worse than molding your weed and you're dumping you're dumping jars of weed out and I've done this there goes there goes a million dollars Drew in one jar <laughs> <laughs> in the garbage because it was like fuck that one got put in the back I didn't know I've heard it. too many stories of even people who don't grow who are like oh yeah I'm gonna have like a break from bud for like four months I got this like really really good stuff so I bought like four ounces of it I'm keeping it in this jar and I'm gonna I'm gonna come back to it like you know and four months later and I'm, I'm gonna have a fat smoke with everyone it's gonna be sick and then four months later they go to their bud having not looked at it not checked anything not done shit and it's just a jar of mold like yeah. <laughs> oh it's so nasty I've been there I, yeah it's it's nasty you have to keep a good eye on it and that even that goes for any that goes for any like uh any uh supply you know 